Jordan here from Alpha Mouth 3 Gaming, and today we are doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. This one is the best settings for Sony Vegas, render settings, properties, and yeah, render settings, properties, and like how to like edit your videos properly, put them together, all that. Just like simple, I'm not going to be showing you how to make montages because I don't even know that myself. Um, if you want to check out the last Sony Vegas tutorial, it was how to make a banner in Sony Vegas. I'll leave an annotation on screen now, if I remember. If not, I'll put the link in the description so you can go and check that out for yourself. Okay, so to start off, this is going to be for 1080p uploading and rendering to YouTube. So you want to start off by pressing properties or alt enter and this will come up now I've, I've got a custom template you want to make a custom template yourself and I'm pretty sure you just type it in what you want uh, blah 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 yeah okay you just type it in yourself and set set everything to how it is on screen so I'm gonna go through it with you for 1080p you're gonna want 1920 and height 1080 for 1080p and there is another one I think it's 1280 and 720 for 720p but I'm not quite sure so just follow me on these ends uh, next is field order just none pixel aspect ratio you want it on 1.0000 um, and in brackets it should say square output rotation 0 degrees and then frame rate uh, here you've got all this but best setting to have it on is either 30 or 29 but I've got mine on 30 because not much point in putting it any higher because YouTube does not support higher than 30 frames stereoscopic 3D mode off unless you're doing something with 3D which I don't know pixel format I, I've got it on 8 bit I don't know if it makes a difference you sort it out if you want Full resolution rendering quality. This is quite important. You want this on best because if not, it's not going to come out best. Sorry for taking a quick pause there. Motion blur type. I recommend having it on Gaussian. You can have it however you want, but Gaussian is what I prefer to use. And Dane to lace method on none. And then I've got adjust source media to ma to better match project or render settings. Some videos I turn that up off. It depends. I'm not sure. And start all projects with these. I don't know why that isn't ticked. I normally have that ticked. Let me just see. Let me close this. Let me reopen. Okay, so. Well, it's not ticked, but I don't know. I, th I think it should be. I'm not quite sure why it isn't ticked, but I re just leave it unticked. It always stays like this, my ones, so I just leave it unticked. Next, onto the audio. Just um, This doesn't really matter. I think you just leave this the same, but resample and stretch quality. You want this on best. Bit depth, 16. Sample rate, HZ, uh, 48. Number of stereo bus is zero and master bus mode stereo. I guess I could have it on 5.1 surround, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now because that is where I have it. Recorded files folder. I have it like that, but I don't record just audio files with Sony Vegas, so I don't know. You can do this however you want. Next, ruler. Ruler doesn't really matter. I just have it like this. Ruler time format SMPTE 30, so it's 30 FPS, comma audio and ruler start time 0000, all this measures and beats, beats per minute or BPM 120, comma 000, and beats per measure 4, and then note that gets one beat quarter. Don't really know about that either. Summary you could like personalize this yourself, I've just left it blank. Audio CD, leave that how it is. And oh yeah, I forgot. Do not make sure you save. So I've got it already saved. I don't want to press anything. 
and then every time you open Sony Vegas it should open with these settings even though I don't have start all new projects with these settings oh I know the start all new projects with these settings is so that if I press file new it doesn't ask me for this but I just press ok anyway you could start with all settings personal it's up to you and next we're just gonna add a file I'm just gonna add this little game that I got earlier and I'm gonna, yes now as you can see it's all fine I've got the sound down here and the thingy up here you could press event pan slash crop or right click on just this and press video event pan slash crop and like this you can just personalize all this I recommend actually having side no having lock aspect radio ticked you can have it ticked or unticked I don't really know the difference but I just have it like that or instead of doing that you could also do right click on the file switches and untick maintain aspect radio I don't know what that will do I think it will like make the video more in place so you don't have any borders around the side but in this video it didn't seem to do anything different so I'm going to leave it like that and now go into file render as and when you come to render in your video you're going to have this over here, I've got show favorites only, but you're going to have all this. And this is where you're going to choose one. So go to the bottom and there'll be one called Windows Windows Media Video V11 and you can have either, it'll say WMA or WMV, I prefer to have it WMV. And open it up and there'll be quite a few of them. If you're looking for 1080p one. Uh, go into the 8 megabyte per second, 1080p to 30p thingy, the 30 frame rate, blah blah blah, and just double click on it, or click on it and customize template, or if there's one called custom rendering template, either way, I recommend just so you customize your own one. I've got this one here, so customize, and it'll look like this. You name it what you want. Yeah, sorry. So my mistake. Press on the 8 megabyte per 8 Mbps HD 1080 35p video, and because this custom one won't be there, so press customize template, and this will come up. Call it whatever you want. I've called it custom template. Oops, my mistake. Sorry. Let me get rid of that. Custom template and don't know just leave that how it is and custom template and then these are the settings you're going to want to have it at so mode you want it CBR make sure that's CBR and make sure audio is ticked as well format Windows Media Audio 9.2 make sure it's on that I guess you could have it on 10 professional but that's just how I have mine you can do it however you want. On attributes, you want 192 kbps, 48 khz, stereo, a slash v, cbr. Make sure cbr is there as well, because uh, these have to be like the same, I think. Don't know why. Next, on to video. This is important. Mode, cbr again. Make sure it's on cbr. Format. Windows Media Video 9, that's why I've got mine on. And image size, I've got mine custom. So if custom isn't there, just click high definition and I think you can customize it yourself. No, I'm just going to press custom. And customize it. Wait, hang on. Let me go back to that. Yeah, so custom and customize it to width. 1920 and height 1080 once again if you're going to be doing it in 720 you're going to have to do something different and pixel aspect radio 1.333 hd 1080 or you could just pick square but no you want to pick this and frame rate once again you can either have it on 30 or 29.970 ntsc 
Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave mine on 30. And seconds per keyframe, I've got it on 5. And then this override default compression buffer th seconds 3. And I've got video, video smoothness on 85. Now you want it in between about 80 and 90. If you have it on 100, it will take a little longer to render. So I think 85 is the perfect amount. And the rest aren't too important. Well, this one is bitrate. Well, this is pretty hard to explain, but bitrate is sort of, it'll calculate the right size to save the file, depending on your internet. So I've got internet LAN 4M, so you put how fast your internet is. So mine's mostly 4 megabytes per second, which is pretty slow, but so I've got it on 4M. And the video encoding mode must be CBR, so that's why you had to have it on CBR. And so like this, just copy this into your thingy, the internet land ticked and 4M. Next, index summary, you could do all this like before on the properties, but I'm not going to bother. And on project, video rendering quality, you want it on the best. Stereoscopic 3D mode. I'm not using 3D so it doesn't matter and color space just leave it on default that's perfectly how you want it and then you want to click save template and it'll be whatever you called it I named mine custom rendering template I recommend adding it as a favorite and then from now on always having show favorites only so it like automatically chooses this one so and then you name it whatever you want I'm just gonna call this video tutorial wherever you want it, blah blah blah, and then every time you're doing this you can just press render, so blah blah blah, I'm just making this video doo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just gonna, for example, split this up, delete this part and then I just go into render as and my settings will be saved so now all I have to do is name it, I'm gonna call it l 3 Jordan for some random reason and just click render so I'm just going to cancel this because I don't actually want to render it. And that is pretty much it, guys. This doesn't really matter. You can change this. This is just the preview. The preview bar. This won't actually affect your rendered settings. Oh, my God. Oops. And if you accidentally deleted that like I did, to get it back, go on to view. Um, hmm. Huh. I got rid of my preview bar. Hmm. How do I get that back? That's kind of newbie. Um, yeah, just don't delete your preview bar. As I was saying, just imagine it's there. It's just what it looks like while you're previewing it. It doesn't depend on the render setting, so you could have that on worst, or like the worst, just while it looks. So it'll look pretty bad, but when you render it, it'll be full 1080p quality, guys. I hope this video has helped you out. Please don't hate for me deleting my bar. I'm going to try and get that back now. Hope this helped you out guys, be sure to share with your friends, let me know if you have any problems down in the description, I mean in the comments, sorry. For more Sony Vegas tutorials, be sure to leave a like button. Damn it. I'm just not talking problem. Be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. This was Jordan from Outright 3 Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.